So what is going on YouTube, my name is Mehul and welcome back to another video in which we'll see how we can debug our applications on Android and iOS. So if you're running Ionic, it becomes a lot of time it becomes important to debug your applications on the live device. So since Ionic is running actually inside a web view, what you can do is that if you're running it on the Android device, just go to Chrome, you need Google Chrome for this, and go to Chrome slash slash inspect. Once you go to this URL, you're gonna see something like this. This interface would not appear if your application is not running. Once it's running, that is once you're on screen like this, you can see something like this. Just go ahead and click on the inspect on the web view in your, in your package name and you would see this Ionic app here, localhost 8100 as well. And here you can see your complete Ionic app. So technically you should be able to interact with it here but uh, yeah it does not really work so you have to interact from the main app itself and you can basically access the console just like you would do on a, on any other regular page you can access the html as well so you can modify stuff you can see what's happening you know you can just go ahead and check the networks tab as well for the network requests made by javascript so you can even reload the page uh location.reload not window.reload and it's just going to you know refresh it if you have made some change but you want to reload and so on and so forth so yeah that's that's basically it for the android part and for the ios part what you have to do first of all you need a mac to run the ios simulator so that's the first condition secondly once you have this ios running just open safari now now android requires chrome ios requires safari there's that so just go to so when once you have opened safari go to i think you might have to go to the preferences first and just check on this show develop menu in the menu bar if you haven't done it ever otherwise just go to develop and just go to simulator and this local host this should open pretty much a similar thing just like uh you know chrome does but you won't get any preview here i think i'm not really sure if you could get a preview from Safari Dev Tools, but anyway, you get access to the HTML element structure, uh, the network tabs, the debugger if you want. You also have the console with you. You know, just you can just do pretty much the same things you would do. So you can see that it just works fine. This works fine, and you can see Ionic has optimized the alerts for uh, for the native platforms as well. So yeah, that's that's basically it for the debugging part. I just wanted to have this quick video in the place so that if you want to debug something, you know where to go. So that's all for this one. If you liked it, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I'll see you then in the next video really soon.